Hey guys, so you're thinking about moving to Hammond, Louisiana? Well, today in this video, we'll be sharing with you the pros and cons of living in Hammond. We'll be sharing the good, the bad, and everything in between. So stay tuned to the end, guys, because the last one is going to be one that you need to know about Hammond in order to make an educated move to this city. And uh, we're getting after it right now. <laughs> First pro about living in Hammond, Louisiana is that the cost of living is quite well. Actually, the I pulled a uh, an MLS sheet just to look and see what the median sales price of homes in Hammond is right now. It's only a little over 200000 if you compare that to um, other cities in South Louisiana, you know, cities in St. Tammany Parish or um, even uh, across the lake and on the South Shore. I mean... Most homes are, are selling in the two fifty to three hundred thousand dollar range right now, or even above three hundred thousand. Those new construction homes in Araby, those are all going for over three hundred thousand. So, a little over two hundred thousand. We're looking at two ten is the uh, the median sales price for uh, what's on the market now and what's sold in the last six months. So really, uh, not that bad. It's that's you know really good price range for first-time home buyers, for instance, or um, college students. You know that's a, that's a, a really a really good price to get into a home. Your next pro is going to be that the average year built um, for Hammond Homes is going to be at about 1995, which is about 27 years old. Um, which isn't too bad compared to areas compa like Mattery, um, which is just across the lake. They're more like 47 years old. So it's a huge difference in the age of the homes, which is a good thing so that um, they're newer built. Um, even though they're not new construction, they're still uh, pretty good in pretty good shape. The next one is more of a fact than a pro or a con, but the median age for people living in Hammond is only 29 years old. About So a lot of 20s and 30 year olds that are, are living in the Hammond general area, that's mostly because there's a, a campus right there. The South, Southeastern Louisiana University is, um, is in Hammond, so there's a lot of college students living there. And the, um, the average household has three people, so that would pretty much be husband, wife, and kid. So, um, but yeah, the the median age is only 29 years old. So, interesting fact. All right, your first con for today is gonna be that there's a train that runs through downtown Hammond, um, which sucks if you're on your way to school or work, um, or even just to meet a friend and then there's a train and you have to wait, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. I mean, it could be less, but it just depends, I guess, if it had just started or how long the train is. Um, you never really know how long you're gonna be waiting. Um, sometimes there might be a way to go around it, but even if there is, it could be just as long to wait for it, um, depending where it's at. But um, that's one thing that does suck, um, is having, having that chance of having to wait for the train to get somewhere because then if you have to call in late to work, you know, that's not fun if um, you're just waiting on the train. But. Mm -hmm. And also with that, if the, the noise of the train bugs you, you know, if, you're, if you live close enough to the train and the noise just, I don't know, keeps you up at night or it's just, um, it's just sound pollution is a, is a word that um, I discovered not too long ago. Sound pollution coming from the train is, um, it, you know, that could that could bug you. It wouldn't bother me too much personally, but I know for a lot of people, the the noise from the train is um, is a bit disturbing. The next pro about Hammond is that there's plenty to do in the city. There's something really to do for everyone. There's a children's museum. For instance, of course, there's downtown Hammond, and we, Natalie and I love to just walk around downtown. That's an event in and of itself, and just, you know, explore the, the little shops and museums and everything that they have down there. There's also um, local local restaurants and local coffee shops, which we love. We go to um, Luma is, is a really good coffee shop, a local coffee shop in downtown Hammond, but 
there's movie theaters, bars and, and clubs, nightclubs, all that good stuff. And there's even a painting with a twist, which I talked about in, in our previous videos. That's a, a fun thing to do where, um, you know, basically what you do is you go and you have a time and you sit down with your friends and they teach you how to paint whatever it is you decide to paint. And it's it's so simple, but it's fun. It's a it's a cool experience to paint something and say that look, I painted this, you know, put it on your wall, whatever. But I don't know, maybe maybe it's not as cool as I think it is. But I like painting with the twist. I've done it before plenty of times. Um, another pro about Hammond is going to be that the population isn't um, crazily large. It's twenty thousand, a little over twenty thousand people. And um, there's a lot of like mom and pop shops and just family owned businesses, which is nice. Um, some people like that more than, you know, more corporate owned um, cities that um, is even around Hammond in South Louisiana. We have um, some cities that are more, have more corporate owned um, businesses rather than mm -hmm. family owned. So it's nice. And um, a lot of people like know each other and everything because it is smaller. Um, and it's just more intimate and uh, mm. it's like a nice little charm in town. All right, your next pro about Hammond is gonna be that um, Southeastern, if you're going for nursing, it I've heard it is one of the best nursing schools um, to go to, um, which a lot of people look at LSU as one of the best colleges in Louisiana, but a lot of people say that they choose Southeastern nursing over LSU nursing um, just because mm -hmm. it's better um, it's harder to get into um, a lot of people that don't get into southeastern nursing will go to the LSU program to try and get in um, it is one of the most competitive um, and if you're into that field um, a lot of people want that because they um, if they think it's better they're gonna want to go to that school so that's a pro of Hammond. So for the next pro, we're gonna go back to the cost of living again. I pulled all of the leased houses in the last 180 days in Hammond and it was only $1,000 for the, the median rent. And um, with the same data in Mandeville, for instance, it was $1,700 per month as the median rent. So. Um, a thousand dollars is doable for a lot of people, especially those, you know, those, those college students. I think that's the reason why it's, it's lower is just those 20 or 30 somethings that are attending college and, you know, a thousand dollars is, um, is really good for, for an apartment or a house in, uh, in Hammond. But like I mentioned in the vlog video of Hammond, the, the low rent shouldn't scare you away as an investor because a lot of times with student housing, you can charge by the bed or even, or, or at least by the, the room. So, you know, maybe the average rent is a thousand dollars, but if you're rented out to five people under the same roof for six hundred dollars each that's three thousand dollars as your gross revenue so that's that's you know that's the way you think about it as an investor not what's the rent rate but how can i be a little creative can i can i rent by the by the room by the bed you know things like that so keep that in mind as an investor who's looking to invest in the Hammond area, you've got student housing. So another con though of Hammond is going to be that there are a few roundabouts um, or traffic circles. Um, I think those those terms are synonymous. But there's there's a few of those things, and I know people hate those, and some people don't even know how to drive um, in a in a roundabout, but there there's plenty of those around the Hammond general area and the reason why is because we were lacking in infra infrastructure which is another con in and of itself and um you know this whole um north shore and south louisiana area was never really um like a jam-packed super big city we were more rural and we had to find a way to make traffic flow better, um, you know, with while we we have the underdeveloped infrastructure that we have. So 
the roundabouts were, I guess, a way to, to mitigate the issues that we were having with traffic and it helps a little bit, but that is one of the, the, the other cons is that, I mean, there's, um, we were lacking in infrastructure and there's all kinds of roundabouts around the, the Hammond general area. All right, our last pro of Hammond is gonna be that it's more community oriented like I was talking about earlier, but there's a lot of like festivals and just little things to do around Hammond, um, especially in downtown um, when I was in Southeastern. We had events to go to in downtown and you didn't have to be a part of the school to go. It was just in downtown um, and they advertised it at the school. And it was like you just walk around and there was music, um, they're playing music and there was car shows and um, there was just a lot of stuff um, just around the town to do with it. And it was, it, it was really fun. It's a nice relaxing time for your with your family or with friends. Um, and they have a lot of that stuff because it's more it's more like community family oriented and um, in the town right next door in Pachtula they're famous for their strawberries and they have a strawberry festival each year and actually it's going on this weekend because we looked it up um, but that'd be a fun place to go but if not they have like strawberry patches and stuff you can go to during the summer um, and that's a really fun time all right guys that does it for today's video of the pros and cons of hammond i hope that you found value in this video and if you did would you subscribe and tap the bell for notifications for us just to help out the youtube algorithm and uh, if you have any questions about anything that we said in this video or any of our other videos guys give us a call shoot us a text send us an email or schedule a zoom call with us and we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to south louisiana bye guys bye guys